Welcome to another online Personals Watch CEO interview. I'm joined by Talia Goldstein, who is the CEO and co-founder of one of my favorite new services. Well, not that new, I guess, but uh, 3dayrule.com. Welcome to the interview, yep. Talia. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So 3-Day Rule has been around a couple of years, right? It has. It started as a, actually a city search for girls. We would tell girls where to go based on their guy type. So they'd take a quiz and we would say, okay, you like the agent or you like the bad boys and here are all the bars in L.A. that they go to. We were trying to save girls time from running around to all the places in Los Angeles where their guys don't belong. So that actually became really popular um, among girls, but we noticed that it was also popular with the guys. So from there, we started hosting these singles events around town so the girls and the guys could meet in person and they became very popular. We had about 500 to 600 people at each event. We were doing monthly events all around town. And after we found that that was very popular and I was actually matching a lot of the people that would come to the events, I quit my job as a television producer and I started 3-Day Roll, the matchmaking service. So we had that service actually for a couple years and we realized that matchmaking is a little bit difficult to scale. So we needed to add another element, and in September 2012, we built the online version, which is Three Day Rule, what you see now. Well, I must say, you do great email. I get wonderful emails from Three Day Rule. They usually show events, which is a good way of getting my attention. Yeah. Of course, I'm married, but, but <laughs> I, I love the emails. I mean, you remake the vi bright and vibrant, and you, you've got this event-centric approach. What do you think of the, uh, the, the, the pitfalls of events, and what do you do differently? So it's really important for us to make the events exciting, and we have all different types of events. So we have singles events for men and women. The ratio has to be even, and we try to do low-pressure events where they are really just coming to mingle. They're not speed dating events. We just find very cool locations. We give them some free drinks or appetizers, and we let them mingle among themselves, and those make for the best events. Um, now that we have this community built, we also do other types of events. So. We do events just for men or just for women. For example, um, this Wednesday night we have an event called the Night of Beauty where our single girls get to go get their hair and makeup and nails done. So we have these sort of perk events for both men and women as well. So you give them a great experience and then what? How do you monetize and what do you do for them? So well, the events really help us because we have a matchmaking division as well. So we have the online um, division which is a curated dating site so not everybody's accepted you have to apply or be invited um, to get online and then we have our matchmaking service as well so we basically curate these awesome events so we can go in with our matchmakers and meet the most quality people well that's juicy and controversial you turn people away how do you turn people away what do you how do you how do you cover that with them how do you when they come back to you and say but but I really want to be a member <laughs> I know it is a little bit difficult, and just because somebody's denied from the site, it doesn't mean that they're not a great dater. They're just not right for our dating site. Um, so we're really looking for busy professionals that are ambitious and have a great career and are really looking for a relationship. So if you're looking for a fling, there are so many out apps out there that you know I'm sure they'd love to have you, but we're really looking for people that want a relationship um, and are passionate about other things and excited um, about their careers and they have hobbies. You know, we're really looking for a well-rounded single who's ready to jump in and date. Uh, so what would not be, what would be somebody that wouldn't be a good fit for Three Day Rule? So I can't actually tell you my exact, the exact secret sauce because right. what they do is we have an onboarding system so people go in and they take a quiz. It's very accurate and the people that are let on our site, um, they have a lot of matches and compatibility with the other people on the site. So how would you say your service is different from a traditional matchmaker? So we're in between mass market dating sites and matchmaking. So the online version, you're sent one match a day, and it is high touch in the sense that you can reach out to your matchmaker. So everybody is assigned a matchmaker on the website, and we have all different matchmakers depending on what you're looking for. So you can reach out to a matchmaker, you can reach out to a dating coach, a stylist, um, you can do a photography session. So it's just more high touch than the other dating sites out there. You can make it, you don't have to reach out to those people, but we have the option if you'd like a higher touch. And what kind of range, I mean a typical matchmaker is five grand, I mean the high end are at 60,000, what do you charge roughly? Right, so 
it depends on what you're looking for, but it's about three thousand is the average, like three to five thousand dollars for um, a handful of matches. Great, so that's a good price point. And how well received is that? What's what's the? Are you uh, when people say yes, I'm interested? Do they come into it for an interview, or is it done online? So right now we have matchmakers in the cities that we're open in, and we'll have um, we'll continue to do that. So they meet with our matchmaker in person, and they go over what they're looking for, and then we work really closely with them. We don't take on a ton of clients at a time. It's really important for us to make sure that they're happy with the service and that we match them successfully. So it's um, very we handhold through the process, and we work really closely with them. And how much coaching do you find yourself doing? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the big think- challenge, isn't it? It is a challenge. I think there are so many amazing people out there, but they just need a little bit of help. So just like the tiniest tweaks can give them the confidence to be successful daters. Great. And what are your goals for 2013, 2014, the three-day rule? Where would you like to be at the end of 2014? So we are la- we, we're in Los Angeles and New York, and this month we'll be launching San Francisco. So we're really hoping to launch a different city every couple months, um, Chicago and Dallas, D.C., Um, A lot of people in Boston have been signing up, so we're seeing where the people are signing up, and those will be the cities that we're hitting next. Great. And is there anybody, uh, is there any business development type folks you'd like to reach out to uh, that can help? Anybody you'd like to give a... Yeah. Well, we're doing a lot of partnerships with brands, and it's um, for our referral program, for example. For the girls, when they refer a friend and that friend is accepted in our community, we send them a free pair of shoes from Soul Society. For example, so we're partnering with a lot of big brands to offer our members perks, and they love our members because they are busy professionals, they make quite a bit of money, and um, it's easy access to those people. So any partners um, that would be interested in working with our members, we'd like to reach out to. Wonderful. Well, I think you've got a very creative and fresh and interesting new brand. I'm really looking forward to seeing how you do, and uh, looking forward to seeing you reach new heights. Uh, Talia Goldstein, you're the CEO and co-founder of 3 Rule. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me.